Hello and welcome to this video all about BL Heli and its ability in something like a fixed wing model, particularly with something like iNav, to allow you to talk to your ESC and change settings. Now this is a video that was asked by a patron of mine, a patron called Henning. So Henning, this one is for you. Now recently I did an upgrade of an Atom RC Dolphin to iNav 6.1.1 and that has an ESC inside that does support BL Heli. And how do you know? Well, if you select DSHOT as the protocol to talk to the ESC, that ESC works. Unfortunately, things like this baby AR Wing Pro, the ESC that's hidden away inside here, does not talk DSHOT. In the setup video for this in the iNav for Beginners uh, 2023 series, we tried it, it just didn't work. We had to select PWM. However, if you have a plane that supports DSHOT, and allows you to select that and run the ESC, then you have the ability to, via another little application on your computer, set up things on the ESC. And why would you want to do that? Well, as I talked about in the video that I did recently, talking about the different ESC protocols, link down below to that, I talked about one of the big advantages, well, two big advantages of using a digital protocol like DShot. First of all, is you don't have to calibrate the ESC, which is awesome. Second one is that you can have that conversation with the ESC, which is handy to change settings on the fly. Things like reverse the direction of the rotation. Now, normally with any standard ESC running a brushless motor, there are three wires that come from the motor to the ESC. Swapping any two of those three wires will reverse direction, but sometimes you can't get to those wires to change it over. So what about if you've set it up and you want to change direction? Or you might have a twin. I think this is what Henning is asking about. And rather, and they, those props have to be counter-rotating. Rather than have them going in one direction, have them going in the other. The other really interesting thing is that I tend to do a lot is also put the brake on. Turn the brake on. That means that when the throttle is off, the motor is stopped rather than freewheeling in the air and acting like a bit of an air brake. That can be very handy and it tends to end up usually behind the trailing edges so that when you land, it doesn't get stuck in the ground. It doesn't always work, but using things like the BL Heli software, you can absolutely do it. Now, there are two different ways that you can make this happen. I'm gonna show you both in the video. I'll put time codes down below. The easiest way and the way that I'd recommend if you've never done this before is use something called BL Heli Configurator. Configurator looks very similar in terms of the interface to things like the interface from iNav and Betaflight. So if you're that pilot, then it'll all make sense to you. The more complicated way, if you are getting more into this and want to get into more the nitty gritty of all the settings available and all the things that you can do with a BL Heli ESC is using the BL Heli Suite. BL Heli Suite, I don't particularly like. Uh, I think the interface looks like a program from 15 years ago. Uh, but if you want the ultimate and the access to all the different settings, Suite is the way to go. But I'll show you both in the video in a moment. Very simply, what you have to do is with your ESC connected to your flight controller as you would normally and run via DSHOT, we can use the USB port that's on your flight controller to pass through and talk to the ESC directly to both read, change, and write back the settings to the ESC for the things that we want. The ESC does need to be powered for this, so make sure that you remove any props before you power everything, because we are gonna have stuff on the bench and we are gonna potentially run a motor if we're not careful. So remove the prop just for safety. With it powered, then we just plug it in, but rather than starting iNav Configurator or Betaflight Configurator, we can run one of these BL Heli Suite applications, connect to the ESC and read the settings in, change what we want and write them back. The big tip I'll give you is whenever you're doing this and writing settings back, I would always read them back in after you've written them just to confirm that everything was saved okay. Then when you've done that, you disconnect, you'll hear the confirmation power up beeps from the ESC and those settings are all done. So let's jump on the bench and I'll show you the way that I've done it with both BL Heli Configurator and BL Heli Suite and where you can get all that stuff from. Again, links down below to all of this stuff. 
So let's actually connect to this Atom RC Dolphin and we will turn on the brake for this motor, which will mean that when I put the throttle to zero, it is going to stop rotating. It's a very common use for something like this and we'll do it the easiest way first. Now we have to have everything powered, so do make sure that your props are off whenever you're playing with this stuff on the bench. You are going to be talking and doing things with the ESC and things could get very exciting if you don't have uh, the safe situation like this where the props off. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, let's download the software on the computer. Now we'll do it the easy way first. So we're going to use BL Heli Configurator 1.2. Don't worry, I'll put the link at the top in the description. And if we scroll down, we have all the different options. And this is the cool part about this. It'll run on Mac, Linux, whatever. We're going to do Windows 64. And now that's downloaded. Let's open it. Double click on the zip file and then control C, copy that. Let's pop it on the desktop. We don't have to install it as such. We can run it from the directory, which makes it really, really simple. So if we open the folder, we can see that there's something called BL Heli Configurator. We'll double click on that. That will start it. Make sure you can start it. You might occasionally get the odd weird thing with antivirus saying don't run it, but just say it's okay and it'll start. Now, BL Heli Configurator looks like this, and it is kind of using the same interface as iNav and Betaflight. So if you're using those systems already, that's going to look very familiar to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to power the model because the ESC has to be powered in order for it to be able to communicate via the flight controller via the USB cable. So let's plug it in and power it up. And then what we'll do is we will attach the USB cable to the flight controller and the flight controller will pass the connection through to the ESC. So here in BL Heli Configurator, it says automatically populated COM5. So we're just going to click on connect and nothing kind of appears. Don't worry about that. That's absolutely normal. It says make sure you've taken the propellers off, which we have. Connect power to the ESCs, which we have. And we're going to read the setup. Now, what we're looking at here are the settings on the screen for this single ESC. If there were multiple ESCs, then you would see them listed here down the right hand side. Common parameters for all of the ESCs are here on the left, and then the individual ESC stuff that you change ESC by ESC is here on the right hand side. Now, what we can do is we can change a relatively small number of stuff with Configurator. This is why it's incredibly handy. So for example, we can see that there is break on stop isn't set. Uh, we can set it for all ESCs. We could also change the direction to reversed or bi-directional is where you can have the middle channel position of 1500 um, above that value going one direction, going the other, but normal reverse is what we're going to change. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on break on stop, but you can see here we have things like the startup power, we have the temperature protection. If it goes over that, it's going to basically throttle back. DMAG compensation. There isn't any help or anything in here, but once we have changed what we want, then what we're going to do is we are going to write the setup. And that has hopefully saved it to the ESC. So what we can do to confirm that is the case, we'll read the setup and it comes back. And if we still have break on stop set, then that is done. We can also flash the firmware from here as well. If we want it to update it, we have to figure out which version we want. We can do all those kind of things, but actually I would just use this normally to do things like that, which is make sure that the break is turned on, but also to change the direction if I wanted to. The other thing is we just disconnect from that. Let's go through the other configuration stuff. Now the ESC is just beeped because it's come out of kind of talking to the computer mode and it's now live and active. So if I ran this and stopped it, it'll immediately stop rather than just spin down gently. So we'll come out of that. Next thing to talk about then is something called BL Heli Suite. BL Heli Suite has been around for quite a long time and it is a little bit less intuitive to use than that interface. So what we'll do is we will try and find the version in here 
that looks like it's uh, the latest and greatest. And what we'll do, and I'll probably go off the dates for this. We'll go for the latest zip file, which is uh, the one I'm finding here is dated the 28th uh, of the 12th, 2022. So what we'll do is we'll download this. We'll click on download. This is the annoying thing with this. You get all of this rubbish as part of the download. So the download has now finished. So there's the BL Heli Suite. So again, let's open that. Double click just to see all the pieces. So there's all of the files. So we'll control A and control C to copy them. What we'll do is we'll put that on the desktop. We'll create a new folder and we'll just control V and copy everything in. So now everything is in, we will start the application from this folder and then let's tell it that it's okay to run it. And here is the BL Heli Suite. It looks a lot less inviting, but it's not a problem. We can absolutely make this all work. So the first thing we need to do again is connect the ESC into the computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart it so that it, everything is happy again. So I'm going to unplug the flight controller from the computer and we'll power cycle the ESC. And then we'll plug it back into the computer. So to connect to the ESC, we have to tell it how we're going to talk to it. Now, this BL Heli Suite has a lot of different ways that you can talk to an ESC. The way that we would do it through a flight controller would be select this one here, BL Heli SK Bootloader Clean Flight. Clean Flight is the father of Beta Flight and INAV, and they work in the same way. So we're going to select that. Then down here, we would select the COM port that has appeared. Uh, by default, when you first start an application like this, it's going to default to something like COM1, but we're going to click on Connect. So we're now connected. And the next thing we have to do is then read the setup. Here's all the different things that you could do with all the different ESC types. Uh, this is the basic setup. This isn't talking to the ESC right now. We have to read the setup first of all. And it'll say that it's found multiple ESC configurations. And um, there we go, we'll click OK. It's gonna tell us it's an unknown type. We don't need to worry about that. We'll say cancel to flash it with BL Heli firmware. But when it's populated, We'll say, okay. You should see now we have an awful lot less stuff that we can actually play with here. So we only have the startup power, temperature protection. Um, that can be handy for some stuff. Motor protection, motor timing. That's depending on the kind of KV of the motor. You can play with that. Break on stop, you can see is now on. We just did that with the configurator tool. We can also change the motor direction with this thing as well, just like we did before. The thing with this again is that when you have set everything, make sure just like we did last time, you write the setup. Otherwise, anything you're doing on here is just happening on the screen. And then you can kind of go through each of these other things and you can see all the different settings. If you have something like a multi-rotor, whereas down here, there's only a single ESC with a number one on it, you will have the four ESCs and you can opt to configure all the ESCs identically and have them all selected, or you can unselect some of them down here. In a plane, it's super easy because we've only got one EC that, ESC that we're talking to, and that is the setting. And that is how I would do it with this. Again, you can absolutely flash through this, but personally, I would always use the BL Heli configurator rather than the suite, particularly if you're new, because this is a little bit less intuitive. So there we have it. Henning, hopefully that answers the question for you. And if you have a plane that will run an ESC via D-Shot, now you know how easy it is to turn on things like the brake and also things like direction, uh, but also other settings as well. More sophisticated ESCs are very handy because what you can also do with things like BL Heli uh, Configurator and Suite is you can turn down things like the low voltage cutoff or the LVC as it's commonly referred to in the forums. The LVC is very handy if you really want to push the flight time of a model like this. Normally the way it works is that below a certain vo cell voltage that's detected by the ESC, 
it'll basically go into a low power mode or not work at all. And if you're running something like a lithium ion pack for endurance, you want to turn that LVC voltage really far down and using this is how you would do that. So hopefully that's been interesting. Now you know how to do it. Um, check out the rest of the videos in the INF for Beginners series and the links below on how you can get all of the stuff I've just talked about. Thank you for watching the video. If you watch my videos and find them useful, then please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot. If you really like what I'm doing here, you can become a Patreon and support the time I spend helping others and get access to lots of exclusive benefits. Link is in the video description. Remember that all the videos on the channel are organized into playlists, so you can easily use those playlists to find all the videos on a subject that you are interested in. Add Painless360 to your searches on Google and YouTube, and it'll help you find my content for any particular topic. Thanks again for watching, and as always, happy flying.